Hello everybody and welcome to Learn How to Edit Stuff. My name is Nadia Sands and today I'll be your instructor. I do apologize, I haven't uploaded a video for quite some time. I've been traveling for work, but I did realize that over 1,000 of you have subscribed to my channel, which is uh, quite extraordinary. So thank you very much for all of you that subscribe to my channel. Uh, today's lesson, very important, uh, staying organized in your post-production workflow. Now, in all my years of doing this, I've seen some very messy projects, and that is not acceptable. So today, we will be doing two very important things. Number one, creating a template project in Premiere. And number two, using Post Haste to organize our workflow. If you've not heard of Post Haste before, today is going to change your life. Organization is one of the most important things you can have. So let's jump in and get started, shall we? Ugh, jeez. All right, your life's about to change starting now. All right, guys, step number one, we're gonna open up Premiere and we're going to create a template project that will be used for everything we do in the future moving forward. So we're gonna go to new project. We're gonna name this template, which is actually very important. So make sure that you do name it template. And we're going to save it to our desktop, which is also very important for this process. So let's just click okay. And we're gonna start down here in the project window and we're just gonna make a couple folders. So we're gonna go footage, Music, graphics, titles, sound effects, and sequences. Now, you guys can do whatever you want down here. Uh, this is a good starting point for today's lesson because this basically covers everything that you will ever need inside of a Premiere project. So once you've created all of your folders, we're just gonna click save and we are going to quit Premiere. Pretty easy so far, that was step one. Now step two is where the game starts to change. So we're gonna start off by going to digitalrebellion.com slash post taste, and here you will find both downloads for Mac and for PC. All those people that keep saying, do it for PC. Here you go. So depending on what you're running, download it for Mac or for PC. Now, post haste is a workflow enhancement application. It allows you to create custom folder hierarchies and folder structures so that you can never be unorganized again. Now, you know if it's coming from me, I'm not gonna bullshit you. So make sure that you download this program. It is very important. So once you download it and install Post Taste, when you open it up, you'll see something that looks like this. It doesn't look like much, it looks very simple, but I promise you it's very powerful. If you navigate over to the templates section, you'll see that they give you a couple of templates to work with. Now this post-production one is mine, but what comes with it is this motion graphics one, photography, video editing, visual effects, and web design. And if you look through some of these, you'll see the folder hierarchy on how they have it labeled. But today we're gonna create a custom template to make sure that it's right for you. So let's do this thing. Under the templates folder, we're gonna click this little plus button down here, and we're gonna name this my template. Hit enter, and then we're gonna navigate over to the files section of this, and we're gonna click the little plus button again, and we're gonna start making some folders. I'm gonna go 01 projects, and we're gonna create a new folder, and I'm gonna go 02 media, and I'm gonna go 03 exports. Now the reason I'm putting the number beforehand is because it will automatically organize it by numerical number and then alphabetical, so this is pretty much guaranteeing that your folder structure will constantly be the same every time you open it. Important. So now that we have that, let's click on our projects folder and let's make a new subfolder inside of that folder and we'll call it 01 Premiere. And we'll make another one called 02 After Effects. Now basically Premiere and After Effects are the only projects that I'm constantly using when I'm doing video stuff. So that's why those two are gonna go in this folder. Moving down to media, we're gonna create a new folder called 01 Footage, 02 Music, 03 Graphics. 04 sound effects, and then we'll do 05 YouTube rips, because sometimes I like to take videos off of YouTube and incorporate them into my project, so that gets its own folder. It's not original footage, it is taken from YouTube. All right, so that's looking pretty good there. Let's move down to exports, and we're gonna do 01 rough cuts. Oop, cute without the E. And we'll do 02 final edits. All right, guys, take a look at this, screenshot it, make sure that you're following along. This is a very basic starting point for all of you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm covering all the bases. If I'm not, you can definitely incorporate it into your workflow, but this is how I have mine set up for the most part. And then once you're done with that, you're done. It automatically saves as you're working, so that is good. So remember that Premiere template project that we made earlier called Template? What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna right click on this folder that says Premiere and say Reveal in Finder. It will automatically open that up and then let's drop our template project right into that folder and we'll exit out. And if you go to the options inside of Post Haste, you'll see 
under project that it says automatically rename files called template to the project name. And that's why we named it template because as you create the name of your project, it will automatically rename that template project file and still allow you to keep all of the same folders that we made earlier in the lesson. Super important. So let's make a mock template project, right? Let's go to new project. Let's navigate our project template to my template. And you'll see that there's a couple different values here. There's project number, client, and project name. I very rarely set the project number. I mostly only use client and project name. So for this one, we'll do learn how to edit stuff. And for the project name, we'll go to get organized. I'm making it all capitals because it's important. And then once you have that, click create project. It will ask you where you want to save it. We're gonna save it to the desktop. We're gonna click save and it will automatically open the project once it's done saving. Now check this out. Projects, Premiere. We have our template project already named to what we named the project earlier. We have all of our media folders that are already made for us and our exports folder. So basically what PostHaste is doing is it's recreating the same file structure every time you start a new project. And this is important for two reasons. One, for your own sanity. And two, if you ever send your project to somebody else, you don't wanna be embarrassed by how messy it is and having random things in random folders that don't make sense. This is pretty much guaranteeing that everything stays organized across all of your projects, which is like seriously, seriously important. It saves you so much time and it saves you so much stress when you're dealing with this kind of stuff. And for the final cherry on the cake, let's open up the project that it created for us inside of our file structure. And would you look at that, all of our folders are down here, ready to go and organize. If I'm gonna create a new sequence, I'll click on sequence, Apple N to create a new sequence. It will automatically put it in the sequence folder. If I were you, I would navigate to your media folder, go to footage and put all of your footage inside of this folder and then take all of that footage and drag it and drop it into Premiere in your footage folder here. Then that way you're basically mirroring everything that's in your folder structure inside of Premiere so everything matches up and it stays organized. Guys, I know that this lesson was super important today. It saves you so much time and energy. Organization is probably the most important starting point that anybody can have when starting a project. Anyways, my name is Nadia Ian Sands. This is Learn How to Edit Stuff. Thank you again to all 1,000 plus of you that have subscribed to my channel. I seriously didn't think that I would even make it past 1,000, so this is really awesome. Keep commenting on the videos and let me know what you wanna learn and let me know if they're helping you. I love the community that this channel has created and I really hope that it's helping you guys out. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media at Nadia and Sands on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. Uh, until you subscribe, I'm gonna count the change in my spare change bucket. One, two, oh, I found a diamond there. 12, 13, 14. This is very exciting for me. Ah, screw this. I'm going to Coinstar.